What's up, tubers? So this is my second attempt at a solo video. Um, I'm going to do this one a, a little bit differently, a little bit more talking than just hitting. The reason behind it is I watch a lot of videos with, with Bruno. Um, anywhere from, you know, Nick420 to Jesse smoking, making things. Congratulations on the new baby, by the way. Um, and what I don't see are women you know, hitting and taking dabs and, and going that route. So this one is for you ladies. So first off, obviously what you need to do is get a rig of some sort. You can get something locally if you if you have anything available in your area. If not, the internet's a wonderful place. You can shop online, get it delivered right to your home. Next you'll need tools. Um, you can go on eBay and get dental picks like we did, just scoop up some oil. Um, you can raid your husband's tools if that's what you need to do. Find a little pokey screwdriver thingy. Um, you can get a dabber. You can get that with the, the rig that you buy or, or a set. Um, <clears throat> uh, next, obviously, let's move you down here so you can see. Torch. We got this at Bed Bath and Beyond. Let me move it out a little. Thirty dollars, I think, something like that. It has a lifetime warranty. It's all shiny. You can put stickers on it, color it up however you want, do your thing. To actually do the dab, you're gonna want to take your torch. Once again, obvious and you're going to heat the nail up. You're going to want to put the tip of the blue onto the nail to get the best coverage. Just heat it up until it's good and all glowy all the way around, not just on the side. It takes a little bit. Make sure that you have, if you have an upper fan, turn it off, make sure you're not in any line of any air conditioning that's going to alter it or make it a little bit more difficult to heat up. Bigger nails, if you go that route, it's going to take a little bit longer than smaller ones. If you just want to put the, the oil on top of a bowl that you're smoking, take one of the tools that you have and to heat up the metal part. You don't want to get any of the heat on the oil, just the metal part and it will drop off onto the the bowl onto your weed or, or your ash, whatever you're going to do, and you can take your hits from there. So I have a good even glow on this. I'm going to stop the fire, put the, the, the whatever that's called, I can't think of it right now, and breathe all the way in. Cheers. Move you back so you can see me. Now, from here, if you're a, always make sure to take the, the dome off. That's what it's called. Take the dome off, otherwise, it gets all sticky with claim and it sticks on there and it's harder to take off and you have more of a mess to clean up. You're always going to have a little something left over on the tool that you're using. If you're a smoker, take a cigarette, just wipe it off on there. If you get a pokey tool and you poke a hole in your cigarette, don't worry, you're working with something sticky, just cover it up and it will smoke like normal. If My music stopped. If you're not a smoker, get like a, a coffee filter or something like that, wipe it off on there. Once you have a, a good claim build up, you can rinse it down can find plenty of videos on, on YouTube that will show you how to, to rinse it down, I'm sure. If not, find somebody that smokes, they'll tell you. Um, and that's about it. One piece of information that I can give you from somebody that was reluctant to, to switch over and try oil for the first time because I wasn't too sure on it. Um, even if you're an everyday smoker and 
uh, you think that you can smoke with the best of them. Oil is so much different than flour. Take your time. You know, take slow at first if you need to. Some people it works better if you do a fast hit all at once. But start small. Flour is so much different. Oil's thicker, and, it, and if you do it in in a dab that's too much for for what you can handle, it hurts like a motherfucker, and it locks your lungs up, and that's never fun. Um, so go slow. Take your time. Enjoy it. It's tasty. It's yummy. It makes you feel all warm and fuzzily. Fuzzily. See? That's what it does to you. Um, but that's pretty much it. Just wanted to to make a little video for the ladies out there. That way they, they have a little bit more to go off of from somebody, their sex, that does this. And they don't have to go off of watching all of these different men out there make their videos. Um, so I'm going to call that a video. I um, hope that you enjoyed it. I know I talked a lot. Uh, I'm kind of high. It happens. But uh, until next time, be safe and enjoy what you do. Peace.